Uh, what? All right, so here for the uh, for the after show listeners, I can read the names of all the stories. All right, hold on. That I've recorded. Wait, 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 and go. Uh, all right. So here are the here are the the chapters or the stories. They're all different stories. Christmas, Florida. Hilarious Black Santa. Pitch for Untitled Santa prequel. Which might be my favorite. I think that's my favorite. Santa nickname tournament. The day I saw Santa. The tools of Santa's workshop. What do pimps get for Christmas? And what makes Santa cry? Which is by far maybe the weirdest thing I've ever written in my entire life. Can you maybe add a chapter called Oi a Ghost? Is, is, is that doable? It could be a tribute to uh, a Christmas story or a Christmas carol? I mean, no, I just, I, just, I mean... I'm think I'm thinking about Sons, more. And I just Sons, don't know. Go, Sons, 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 Sons. We spent a lot of money acquiring the rights to that movie, and he was clearly translucent, and he became real, and people started reacting with like he was a real boy. You're telling me that can't be that can't be more. <laughs> We're gonna money. get with the forced me more. <laughs> people are telling people are actually giving me a YouTube link to the overused me. Here we go. Well, because it's not overused meme, it's forced meme. Forced meme, yeah. All right, now keep in mind, look, if you're going to be the policeman of overused or, or forced memes. I'm not the policeman. We can both have it. Okay, all right. As long as it's a mutual. Oh, oh no, we both turned the key. Okay, all right, all right. All right fact, fair enough. That's, the, that's what it is. Either of us can do it. We both have to. Hang on. You appear to have a priestly pimp on your shoulder who disapproves of you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, one of these days, Brian, I just. Is I, it, want, is it... I want just nothing but people to pop up right behind you. <laughs> And see if it's not distracting. <laughs> you want me to experience it? I see. I, I would like that. I would All like right. body to just wear masks, or, or maybe Fair we'll enough. have Brant to stay over one night during the show and just pop up and and you know make faces. We could do all this. I don't see uh, all right, let's read these things. Yeah. You want me to go first on the name? Are we calling it's it BS positive. How it goes. Yeah, it's all right. All right. <clears throat> What's the episode number? Waiting on it. 203. Oi, a ghost. <clears throat> this is NSFW episode 203, recorded on November. Th- Hold on. Keep holding. Is that down? The audio? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, geez. This is great. It's going great, bro. Don't worry about Man, it. Man, this is, this is awesome. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. Look, all right. In our defense, we had like three months straight of nothing but AAA episodes. Woo! We can have one that technologically is the best we've ever done, but maybe we show up unprepared for it. It's fine. Man, remember all those great episodes? Man, were they good. They were good episodes. (laughs) Holy crap. Those were awesome. All right, here we go. This is NSFW episode 203, recorded on November 5th, 2013. Oi, a ghost. On this episode of NSFW Show, Brian and I dig through our Gmail for which we haven't read in over a year. We also... Double complete rainbow. Hold on, wait a minute. (laughs) Here, I got it. 
Uh, on this episode of NSFW Show, me and Brian go through our official Gmail account that we have not read in over a year. We're visited by Nigel and Simon, two British record executives, and I make an announcement on a brand new project. It's a book coming up right now on NSFW Show. Yeah. What? 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 Man, I'm what? still like astonished at the quality of the video you're sending over. It's <laughs> astonishing. <laughs> All right, here we go. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And Ting. Ting's a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one account. Save $25 off your first Ting device. Visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. Com. And Shutterstock. Shutterstock.com with over 1 million high quality video clips. Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code NSFW1113. That's NSFW1113. <laughs> Epic episode to follow. <laughs> uh, Jackie Hearn seems to really want to call in and ask what the what the deal is on this uh, this Diamond Club chapter. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, last we heard, and first of all, Jackie Hearn is like one of the top resources A god. in She's all an of actual chat realm. god. Yeah, yeah, uh, and so we. Slash dotted, we did it. What? Uh, the only the only hiccup is that we were on track for our thing and then we got distracted because we finally. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a pretty good gift. If I could make this my avatar, I would. <laughs> I would just want to, just words below it, just say howdy. Howdy. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Howdy. It's pretty good. Ah, oh, shoot. I was about to curse. Um. Yeah, what is this? Somebody was trying to send this last time. I'm like, yeah, I get it. You Photoshop my face on. This is way better. <laughs> Howdy. 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 <laughs> Howdy. 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 <laughs> Was that a forced meme? <laughs> I just died, yes. Congrats, bro. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah. Well, that was an episode. <laughs> I'm just saying, this was on the table.
I don't know if it would have been much better. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I defer to you, sir. All right, so I just stopped the recording. Uh, hey, so the first 10 minutes, um, it I, I clicked record, but then I recorded, the, but then I saved the settings on Wirecast, and so it stopped recording and I missed it. Um, we can get that from Justin.tv, right, Jammer B or whoever's that? We the, were recording here, so you were all set. Wait, you were recording straight from from. We're recording everything here. Yes, we get like three recordings. Oh yeah, no, no, okay. So you got it all from uh, from Skype. Yeah, we get everything. Okay, all right. We're do good. you want me to send you? Do you still want me to send you the local recording? I would assume. That's uh, good. sure. Yeah, okay. Anthony can figure right. it out. Dude. Maybe next time we'll book a guest. I don't think we can blame this on the lack of a guest. I don't think that that with our ideas of what we were going to do in this episode, that adding somebody else, like, because literally the episode was like, all right, well, Brian and Justin, you guys have chemistry so much so that you've done like these successful comedy albums. Let's literally like, just like, let's let you guys go and you can be funny. Uh, I don't think adding a guest to like go through our email <laughs> or, uh, or 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 the Nigel and Simon breakdown would have made anything less confusing or weird. Uh, MTL underscore hazy says it wasn't that bad. It's good to know. Yeah. No, I it's mean, good listen, to know. Sometimes these episodes are really really funny, and the things that we get out of them are like timeless and we will keep repeating over and over and over and over again. Sometimes it's just Brian and Justin flapping their gums, trying real hard not to talk about any of the things they talked about in the pre-show two hours beforehand. There's that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> and then also sometimes I spend the entire time I was going to be going through the NSFW Gmail to see whether or not we had a bit for that first thing, making a Squarespace website with the idea being that I would be able to use that as a Squarespace read uh, and, and then, then Squarespace wasn't a sponsor. Nope. Uh, yeah. So here's the deal, folks. Sometimes you roll the dice and you get snake eyes. <laughs> but every once in a while you get, you know, you're rolling on easy street. It's, uh, you know, seven. Uh, <clears throat> Although that was one of those things where, like, the Nigel and Simon thing, to be totally honest with you, I always thought was, like, kind of funny, only because I really like saying, Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. That's, like, I really just like doing that. Right. Um, But I didn't know whether it was, like, prime time worthy, but people seem to really, really like it. So I'm like, well, let's do it on the show. And I don't know whether or not that was a great idea. To be honest, it's not Nigel and Simon that are the problem. The problem is like the 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 video breakdown lives and dies on how much of an artifact from a bygone era that it is. You know, that's that seems to be what it's all about. Uh yeah, man. So I don't know. Sometimes those things and they, that's that's on us. Because we need to know when th we can do things that everybody will find funny. Because there's a lot of stuff. Nuclear like Jello very helpfully says the problem is that Brian's horrible accent. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> Leave Brian's horrible accent out of this. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I don't think backstage it's bad. oyster I think it was hopefully, all right. helpfully says you should have mentioned cocaine. <laughs> Uh, although we have another comment, also no cocaine. Um, so there we go. Yeah. That was some right fun on. stuff. All right. That's all. It that wasn't did. a terrible episode. No, it was a real moment that you and I spent together. And for fans of you and me being in the same place virtually. <laughs> You yeah. should have mentioned Vagina Paul. <laughs> Just mention. Why, why, why couldn't we get in Vagina Paul? 
He's amazing. Whenever Poochie's not in the scene, people should be asking, where's Poochie? I was shocked at how many people didn't get my reference when I said you don't win friends with salad on Twitter the other day. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Like, less than half of them did. And a bunch <laughs> no of was like... underscore. It wasn't terrible. It was boring. <laughs> Fair point. Fair, Fair point. enough. Fair enough. How does Noah underscore get away with doing all caps? I can't do that. Oh, go ahead. Try. Try to type in all caps. Uh, Colin, you guys need to stop the lies and realize the episode was just mediocre. No, I think that's where we're at. I think, I think there's no lies about the fact that we believe the episode was mediocre. That's true. <laughs> I may have written my Chinese, the Chinese has stole my German. <laughs> All right. Uh, that. no. We already did a video breakdown. No, yes, no. V video breakdowns are a treat. For those who deserve them. And we do not deserve it. <laughs> right, exactly. We're being punished. Exactly. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Um, All right. No, actually, to, to, to kind of like, I, I didn't want to get into it because I didn't want to, I just wanted to kind of move in, move through the, the, the book talk or whatever. But uh, in my, I mean, like, I guess in my head, I wouldn't ever i mean like like logistically I, I i don't know how i would put together and get everybody together to do like a cast reading of like one of those stories or whatever you know i guess i would have figured you would just have everybody record a track at home or whatever since half of them have you know pr 40s and whatnot yeah that's also a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, but fair, and also fair, to be honest enough. with you, it's just something where it's like it's not like anybody knows of me as a writer, you know, and and I don't know, like I would rather call in favors with them as like, hey, can you please plug the book? Yeah. No, no, that's fair enough. Like you don't want to climb uphill and be all like, no, please, I want you to be like an actor in it, and seriously, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Cattle Humper, did you read yeah. that? <laughs> right on. Uh, look, man. I'm going to call it. Uh, since it's the after show, you mentioned the effing done thing. The website link in the doc explains it better than I could. What is the effing done thing? I don't know. Who's what? Can you give a shout out to the Crowd Tilt fundraiser? Effing done. Of the Twit IRC family, some a-hole stole all of his video gear he uses for freelance work and is looking to find the a-hole or earn enough donations to replace everything. Weird am I. Kevin Smith will literally go on any podcast if you ask him. We have That's asked him. That's not true. He said he's coming on. Yes, any minute now. Dude, if we're going to count, like, freaking people who got photographer kit just stole him we need to mention cj he had like three thousand dollars of gear stolen from his house oh yeah jesus yeah and he's offering a thousand dollar reward what are you offering sir <laughs> yeah. the satisfaction of finding your stuff good luck <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> that was uncalled for it's just uh, it's a so crowded market. Uh, it's a crowded market right now. Dunn. Go find F and Dunn's thing. Yes. E F F E N D U N N. Oh, they do? Oh, he has pictures of the guy who stole it. Oh shoot. Wow. So if you're the guy who stole it, seriously go to hell. Yeah. Get rid you, of you. P U, you stink. <laughs> How did he do that? CJ, unfortunately, people are sending me, this is pictures of the guy who <laughs> did it. He looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> um, yeah, like CJ pretty much knows the kid who stole the stuff. But, really? Yeah, but he can't. I mean, he doesn't have any hard evidence, so the sheriff was just like, screw you. Even though this kid 
uh, this kid had previously stolen stuff from him. The kid came in allegedly and, um, you know, stolen stuff previously came in, stole, uh, Kim's purse and the camera bag that had like $2,000 of gear in it. And then stole out all of the cash out of the, uh, out of the purse and then left it in the driveway and ran off. It's pretty messed up. Man, that is totally screwed. So, like, does he know him? Like, is this, like, somebody that he is familiar with, or? Allegedly, hypothetically, it might be. Some might say that it might have been a bad seed kid that was a friend of CJ's son who Ah. just joined the military corps. And while CJ's son has gone on to, you know, be part of the, uh, I said military corps, Marine Corps, uh, has gone on to be a Marine. His, uh, some of the, some of the bad seed kids he left behind may be addicted to drugs hanging out and know for a fact where CJ keeps his stuff and probably how to get into the house in easy ways. Exactly. Theoretically, 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 hypothetically, that would be theoretically. Um, Di- yeah, Dianetically. <laughs> Dianetically. Uh, but people, Jackie Hearn is talking about, oh, I'll read the audiobook. Listen, I've recorded like 75% it's of the done. audiobook. It's already done. You're too late. It's not, again, and this is, I, I would have never thought that it was going to be something that people wanted to do. I, I also like recording this stuff. I liked recording all of Andrew's audiobooks, and I enjoy doing the voices. So there. Uh, I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm trying to do a stupid audio. Yeah, way to go, Greedo. <laughs> Why don't you shoot first, Jen? Yay. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. I'm going to call it. Yeah. I love you. Love you, Brian. So long, beautiful people. Adios, kids. I got to drive back to Oak Town. He's gone. Just like that. Means I could play some fucking copyrighted. Totally. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and. Let me bring you back. I bring you back right now. I bring you back. Sit your ass right now. I bring you back. Let me bring you back right now for you. How am I on Twitch? The market settled disputes and my I terrible up. tooth To tell you the truth, I wouldn't even level with you Indeed, me, me, me was the general rule Mama's like, please, I need sleep, I'm begging you do She'd do anything to get me to snooze Fed me alphabet soup or a vegetable stew An edible goop, you can better refuse Cause this view was inevitable And while dad was watching Rocky films Picture me with a box of building blocks Slobbering on orange pills Screaming what's the deal I need my bottle filled Let's speak to Dr. Phil But I couldn't reach the hospital Till chicken pox got me ill And you can bet I got lots of thrills Popsicles, body pops All up in this toddler's grills Redskins for rocket fuel Milk goes optional You could buy your python For less than a dollar bill Back in the day I was happy to say That I love getting carried away Back in the day Back in the day I was happy to say that I love getting carried away Back in the day Back in the day Before your internet bandwidth I was on the block trying to be the best baddest BMX bandit Riding no handed Trying to chuck a wheelie Vibing Hoping that the fuzz didn't see me Mom's was a genie Whipping up the illest food But she would never let us eat it in the living room We spent summers in the next door Swimming pool Dive bombing suckers Live moves Did you give me broom? Playing cricket in the driveway But if you scratch dad's whip You were bound to catch a tirade Me and my mates Flipping off the neighborhood jocks We had it up like the neighborhood watch But nowadays the neighborhood's hot Kids dump a couple of pills Shit I was chill with the bubble of bill A bag of marbles Phantom the monkey magic You couldn't imagine all the fun we had But take it back in the day I was happy to say That I love getting carried away Back in the day Back in the day I was happy to say that I love getting carried away Back in the day Back in the day Ninja Turtles was a bomb and Shredder was a shit 
Little athletics hit a hundred meter sprint. Scooby was a dude, and we would jump on bummer man. Mortal Kombat, feet the sucker was a jam shack with cement. In the picture, sitting on my mantelpiece. With a couple for one, one magazines, yo. Kiki's in the cardboard, all these over coke cans. Riding around the block, man, stoked to have no plan. As a kid after school, this is how we might do. Buzzing with my cousin playing Street Fighter 2. With the shell suits and undercut, some sported mullets. Basketball trading cards, Jordan was wanted. Jordski was blunted, but we never watched MASH. Mike Jack, Will a clip, had the city on Smash. Bill Murray goes busted. Indiana Jones and WWF repping Hulk Hogan. Back in the day, I was happy to say that I love getting carried away. Back in